Wave goodbye to the cold, isolated island of Erangel and say hello to the warm tones of the desert. PUBG's newest map, Miramar, has everything the adventurous spirit could ask for. Mountains to climb, cities to explore, island getaways, and 99 other deadly problems trying to kill you. If you want to get the most fulfilling experience out of your time in Miramar, here are some tips and important changes you'll want to take note of. Let's start with the vehicles. The new bus is the slowest and probably the worst vehicle in PUBG. It has poor acceleration, laughable top speeds, and it has trouble climbing some of the most modest hills. If you like to go off-road, this is not the car for you. However, the bus isn't entirely useless. If you are rolling with a full squad, it provides enough space and a good amount of protection. Better yet, if you hop out, the minibus affords you plenty of cover. This is especially useful in some of the more open spaces of Miramar. Next, we have the pickup. There are two variations scattered across Miramar, hardtop and open. You should always go for hardtop and squad because once again, it gives you more protection from gunfire. While it may not be as safe or reliable as the UAZ from Erangel, it is certainly the closest thing you'll find to it in the desert. Now let's compare, shall we? Next up is the Aqua Rail, and to be honest, you probably won't use it that often. It's quick and responsive, but because there are no rivers running throughout the map, you will rarely use this vehicle. Moving on to weapons, Miramar adds three new guns. The Sawed-Off Shotgun, the Win-94, and the R-45. The Sawed-Off Shotgun is my favorite of the bunch. Its range is pretty bad, but it can take the spot of a sidearm. It's a good option if you typically don't hold on to shotguns late in the game. That being said, I'd still think of the Sawed-Off Shotgun as a last resort or an early game weapon. Next, let's have a look at the lever action rifle, the Win-94. It packs a decent punch, but because it's incompatible with almost every weapon attachment and its reload speed is slow as hell, it's usually worth ignoring. The third new weapon is the R45, a 45 revolver that comes equipped with a speed loader. This means you won't need to insert one bullet at a time like the R1895. Thank God. The iron sights are pretty decent on this thing as well, making it somewhat reliable at medium range. These guns are all nice additions, but at the end of the day, you should be on the lookout for assault rifles, sniper rifles, scopes, and silencers. If anything, they are even more clutch on the open plains of Miramar. So now that we are familiar with the new weapons and vehicles, let's take a look at the map itself and some of the new mechanics. If you've wandered around the map at all, you've probably noticed there isn't nearly as much grass. Crawling into the circle or hiding into the grass went from a viable, albeit annoying strategy, to a useless one. Thankfully, there are more large rocks scattered throughout the map to hide behind. And finally, the latest update adds vaulting. Not only does vaulting make life a lot easier, but more importantly, it allows you to vault through windows. This means you can easily escape from a building if you are pinned down, and you can surprise enemies that are holed up in a house. And of course, there are hot zones, but nothing as centrally located as the iconic school. Typically, larger buildings have more loot and more cover, so it's good to start with those. After I've identified the flight path, I typically look for a settlement slightly off the path. That way you can get in a little combat while getting some personal space for looting. Despite these changes, positioning is still the most important thing to consider. Listen carefully, keep to cover, and know when to engage the enemy. If you have any other tips, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.